morning! <laughs> Welcome to Book and Puppet Company's Story Hour. My name is Andy, and today we're going to be reading Mouse House by John Burningham. And if you look very closely at this picture, you can see that there are the mice. They are going. Every mouse is going on a ladder, or flying on an umbrella, or climbing on the letters of the title of Mouse House. Like, let's see, one. Can you count them? One, two, nine, four, two, one. Here's one mouse on the cover. Oh, and here's the, what? Oh, I'm sorry, I miscounted. Let's try it again. One, three, two, nine, six, nine. There's nine mice on the cover. I miscounted the first time. What? I think I did count it right that time. No, nine. Uh oh, there's two mice on the back on jumping on a trampoline too. All right, well, we have to read this book because we only have a certain amount of time. So we have to actually, you want me to count again? One, three, two, two, three, one, six, four, nine, Three, four, seven, one. I love you, cat. I love you, cat. Did you say something? One, six, four, two. I love you, cat. Did, did you say something? I said something. I, 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 my, my, my ear is working wrong. Some, something is me, talking. Me, me, oh, me. oh, 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 I'm out. Oh. Did you get out of this book? I thought this was story hour, and I was supposed to be reading a story, and what is, what are you doing here? Did you, there is not supposed to be a mouse at story hour. The mouse is supposed to be inside of the book, not, and now I've lost count. Now I can't remember what I was on. I think I was on six, but maybe I was on two. Start over. Start you... over at the beginning, and I'll help you. Are you good at um, numbers? Yes. I'm All a right. mathematical mouse. Mouse. Mouse, not a mouch. I'm bad at pronouncing things. D did you say you're a mathematical mouse? I'm a mathematical mouse. A mathematical? I, what? Yeah. I don't even know what it is. Okay, but you said you can help me? Yes. All right. All right, let's try it. Okay. Three, no, one, no, you have to nine. Start. You have to start with one. Let's do it together. Is she right? Do I have to start with one? I don't start with three. I start with... I should start with one? Yes, yeah, start with one. One is the first one. 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 Okay, the next one's going to be two. 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 Now, don't count again when you count over four. Find a new one. The next one's going to be three. Three. Which one's three? Three. Oh, not you? Oh. No, you are not mice. Oh, oh. Um. You're only counting the mice on the book. If I don't finish counting these mice, I can't read this book, and then the children won't see the book, because the book is very good. I have to hurry. Oh, I forgot the mice on the back. One. One. But I already counted one over here. Is one on the one. front and one on the back. No, count two. Just count, just count all of them in a. You, once you're done counting the ones on the back front, then turn it over and keep counting from the last number you were at on the back. One. one. But this one is one also. One. One. No, no, this no. one is one. No. And you are one. And. and you are one, I am one, and one. So one plus one, one plus one plus one plus one plus one is one. No. So there's only one mouse. Should we start reading the book? No, we have to count it all. You count it. The mathematical mouse will count I'll it. Count it. Okay. All right, you count it. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> I can't see it very well. Oh. 
I'm holding it so the mouse can see it because I, I can't see because that way only one person can see it. One, two. There's two. Two. I don't know if there's more because I can't see very good. I don't have my glasses on. Is there another one besides that? Mouse? Will you Is please tell us how many there are so we can finally read this book? Can you please tell us? Oh, one. Oh, okay. Two. Okay. Three, really? Oh, okay, four, really? Uh, oh, five, and six? That was all, oh, turn it over, okay. Uh, seven, really? And and eight? Eight? Eight! Eight? Eight mice! Really, it's and eight? plus me is nine. Nine? Really? And what about me? You're not a mouse. Oh, okay. So now we're going to have this book... Finally! <laughs> Announcing the famous story of Mouse House by John Burningham. Burningham? Yeah, John Burningham. That's the name of the, the guy who made the pictures. Did he burn his ham? Oh no, we better send him a letter. That Mr. John Burningham, you're burning your ham. Okay, here's the mouse. I mean, no, not, not the mouse. Here's the, the house. Here's the house. Did you see the house? Actually, there's a lot of houses here. Do you think that every single one of these houses has its mouses? I'm the mouse in this house. I get up in the, early in the morning when nobody's around, and I go where the toaster is, and I eat all the crumbs. And it, then I go... Are they good crumbs? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a mouse in your house that eats your toast and crumbs and goes Pfft. Do you like to make that sound? Pfft. Okay, now it's time for the story of Mouse House. Hey, wait a minute. What are these mice doing? These mice are playing on a... They're doing swings. Is it a good thing to do? Do you like to go on swings? Me too. Okay. Do you like to go on swings too? This is a swinging mouse over here. This mathematical mouse is a swinger. Okay, here goes the story. Are you ready? Here goes the words. This is the house. Are you ready to turn the page? This book is very exciting so far. I think this is the most exciting book I ever read. <coughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. Okay, this, do you want to say the words again? This is the house. Woo, woo. Wait a minute, this book is so exciting. Woo! It was very exciting and climactic because of the house. Should we count the window? Oh, don't count. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still waiting for the exciting part. Oh, but this is the exciting part because it says, This is the house. Okay. Should we turn the page? There might be more exciting things in this book. Okay, let's turn the page. Beep. Oh, where the family lives. Every evening they have their supper and then the children go to bed. And they are eating their supper. Do they go to bed before or after dessert? Do they go to bed before or after dessert? Oh, oh, after. After dessert? Yes. But! Oh, that's my favorite word. You want to say but? But! But! There is another family living in the house oh, oh, oh please don't eat the book we haven't finished reading it do you know who they are do you know who the other family living in this house is do you know who they are um they're do you know who they are do you know who the neighbors who came over maybe it's the neighbors who came over let's turn the page the suspense is killing me. They are the 
Mouse family! Oh, they look nice! After the humans have gone to bed, the mice look for food! Yay, food! Maybe there's some cheese. Well, this mouse has something. Is this cheese? Is this cheese? Can't tell what it is. It's yellow, though, so probably it is cheese. I think it's cheese. Look, she she has a she has a basket that she uses when she goes to collect collect the food. Do you have a basket when you go to the toaster? No, I just eat it. Well, I'm the only one, so I don't have to bring anything back for my babies. Gotcha. Yeah, see that you can see that this is. This is the mommy mouse because you can see by her dress. So when she goes, she has to get it for her babies because she has she a baby. She has to bring some home. Yeah. You want to turn the page? Yep. Then the mice have their supper. Look at this. There's a lot of mice in this mouse family. They're, they live down there and they have their... This is... I don't know how many. Should we count them? Don't count them? Okay. The mouse children, or afterwards, the mouse children start to play. The mouse children are told they must never be seen by humans. Are you going to play? This, this, these mice have umbrellas. These mice have a soccer ball. I broke the rule. Did you break, what? I broke the rule. I, Don't break the rule. I, I got seen by a person. Oh, That's no. You. Oh, well, I'm seeing you now, but... It's, it's okay because we're just doing story hour. Oh, okay. Okay, the mouse children are told they must never be seen by humans. Did you ever see a human? Oh, you are a human? Okay, let's see here. Oh, wait until we're finished, please. I'm hungry. Should I let the mouse eat the book? Oh, I should? But then maybe the mouse will eat a word and we'll get confused. Okay, let's. we better read this book fast because we have to read it before the mouse finishes eating it. Okay, let's turn the page. Beep. One evening, the boy is on his way to bed when he says... Yeah, that's sort of what he said. He said, look, there's a mouse. See, there's actually words written in the book that say exactly what he said. Essentially, he did say, hi, mousey, but the words oh. say, look, there's a... Do you want to say it? Mouse! Because he saw it. Oh, who's this over here? Oh, oh, somebody else is not happy to see the mouse. Who got seen? Was it mommy? Uh, I think that's uh well it's not mommy because it's she's not wearing the red po polka dot dress so I think it's one of the mouse children uh -oh. and there's the boy's mommy and she is she's very surprised and she's is she happy what is she doing it looks like she's going ah do you want to say that ah do people do that when they see you and do you do it back? Yes, I go, ah! ah! Where is it? Ah! ah! Can you do it? Ah! ah! Did you do it when you saw a mouse? Ah! Ah! <laughs> this person is very surprised. The mommy is very surprised there. Okay, let's turn the page. The father phones the mouse catcher. The father's using an old kind of phone. See this funny old phone? The father has a very mad look on his face. He's And there's the children. The father phones the mouse catcher. The mouse catcher will be here in the morning to get rid of the mice. Get rid? Yes. That doesn't sound nice. No. Why? Do we have to get rid of the mice? Ask the children. They don't do any harm. Do you do harm? Well, one time I got into the sugar bowl 
And I did something in there I probably shouldn't have done. You did something in the sugar? In the sugar bowl. In the sugar bowl? What did you do? Did you take a sugar? I ate some of the sugar and then... You ate some sugar? And then... Yeah? I did something. You did something after you ate some of the sugar? Yeah. I don't know what. I was pretending I was a cat in a cat box and that was fun. But then later on, I heard the mommy go, Not my sugar bowl! What do you think? This means war! What, what do you think the mouse did in the sugar bowl? Shh, don't say it because you might get in trouble. <clears throat> That's what I think. Do you want to, do you want to say it? <clears throat> they will be all over the house if we don't, says the father. We must get rid of them. All over the house! All over the house! Even one mouse could be all over the house. True. Before they go to bed, the children write a message to the mice. And here is the message that the children wrote to the mice. It says, it said, this is the message that the children wrote. See, it's a piece of paper and they had a pencil and they wrote it. Do you like to write letters or draw a picture on a piece of paper? These children are very good at writing their letters and they wrote this message on this piece of paper. This is their handwriting. It says, to the mouse family, your lives are in danger. You must get out of. You must get out of the house tonight, from the children. The children. No, don't leave. I would like to eat you. Ah, a cat. Oh, this seems like a very nice cat. I guess the mouse doesn't want to see this cat. Okay, let's see what happens. Beep. What's happening in this picture? The every mouse got a suitcase and they are they don't look very happy. They are going away from the house. They got the message saying they are in danger and so they are going they have to go. I have to play a, a something. It's very dangerous in the puppet theater because there's a cat. I know there's. No, if you see one cat, you're gonna see it all over the puppet theater. Oh, you better get out for now. The mouse ha get, went out. The mouse went away because her life was in danger. Just like these mice. Why did you tell leaving. the mouse about me? I didn't tell. The mouse just saw you or smelled you or something. Okay, so there they're going. They have their suitcases. They have to go. Even the babies are going. And even this little mouse with the doll, the mouse doll has to go. They all have to go because they got the message from the children that their lives were in danger. It's very dangerous if a uh, uh, mouse catcher is going to come. Okay, let's turn the page. I hear you have a problem with mice. The mouse catcher says, I've come to deal with them. They get everywhere. You won't have any more mice once they have Eaten my little packets. In a few oh, days, packets? in a few days, you'll be mouse free. See, the mouse put they they put uh, little um, uh, packets. Yes. Yum! That looks good. I would eat that. Yeah, it's actually uh, poison. That means it's it would it would make the mouse it's die. What? It would make the mouse die if they eat the. The Did you say it was fish? No, it's not good for mice to eat it because then they will uh, they will uh, die. So that's that's uh, this is very very dangerous for the mice. What he just did, he was gonna poison the mice and give them food that would kill them, which is 
that's what's happening here. They said they were going to get rid of the mice, and this mouse catcher uh, put this kind of fake food. I need to call the police! You have to be very careful that you eat food that is safe. Don't eat anything that is not safe, that you know about that's good to eat. Like, good things to eat would be like an apple, or a sandwich, Something or your mommy made spaghetti, for you. or yeah, good food to eat. Don't eat things that are like weird and bad, and this mouse catcher wants the mice to eat things that are weird and bad, which is weird. I don't know. Oh, this, this is a very sad story. It actually is, potentially, it might be a sad story. The mice are in danger. Okay, let's turn the page. <coughs> From their bedroom window, the children can see the mice playing outside at night. Oh, the mice went away from the house. See, they're playing outside at night. The children can see that the mice children did. They left the house because they they knew because of the message. So their lives were in danger. I love this picture. And they didn't eat the packets. They didn't eat the packets. And look at this beautiful picture. Look at the moon shining on the tree. Would you like to play outside at night? It seems like a good time to play if the moon is shining bright. Do you play outside at night? There was a full moon last night and I played outside on the deck. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Yep. Oh, the children, they decide to make things for the mice to play on. What? The children are at their craft table. The children have scissors and they have glue and they have wires and they have paper. Something is going on with my book. It's it's twiggling. My book is twig. Oh! The mouse is eating my book again! Did you tell, you, thank you for telling me. Oh look, they made, look what the children made. They make a trampoline. Do you like to go on the trampoline? Let's do the trampoline. Oh, 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 oh. oh actually my, this would be a good trampoline. Do you want to jump on this trampoline, Mouse? Hey, Mouse is jumping on this trampoline. <laughs> These mice like a trampoline too. I would like to go on a trampoline. Okay, let's go. A slide and a swing. Look at this swinging. This is these children made some really good uh, playground equipment for this. Very nice. The children are so nice, and the mice are having a very good time on this playground that the children made. Wow! Oh! Ooh. Trampoline. I want to swing. You you can trampoline on this trampoline. Even the, even the uh, the cat goes on my tambourine trampoline. Tambourine a trampoline. Tambourine trampoline. Tambourine trampoline. Tam I mean a tangerine cat. A tangerine kitty on a tambourine trampoline. <laughs> ah! Oh, sorry. I guess that cat's life was in danger, too. Okay, let's turn the page. And they watch the mouse children playing in the evenings. Now you can see here are the, the people. Oh, there's a, have a, there's a bear. There's the boy and there's the girl. And they're watching the mouse children playing in the evenings. What are they playing on now? What is this? A, a slide. Look, these mice have a slide that the children made. Whee! All of the children are going on the slide. Oh, this is not very safe. Look, this this mouse went down the slide when this mouse wasn't completely finished with being on the slide. You know you should wait until the other person is completely off of the slide before you go on the slide. The, the mice are not being very, very safe. Maybe that was the first time they ever went on a slide. 
Oh, that's probably true because the children had just made the slide for them. They should have included instructions. Did the children include instructions? No, the children didn't include instructions. Well, I guess they're going to have to learn the hard way. Yeah, they could end up uh, bumping each other, but it looks like they're doing okay right now. Okay, let's turn the page. In autumn, the leaves start to fall. Here the leaves are falling. Can you make the leaves fall? Can you make the leaves fall? Is it, did the leaf fall on you? The leaves start to fall. Oh, look, what are they doing? The mice have another playground thing they're doing. Do you know what this is? A seesaw or a teeter-totter. It's either a seesaw or a teeter-totter. Which one is it for you? A sea totter. I don't think so. A seesaw teeter totter. Look, this side has two. And this side has one because one of them is a baby. In the autumn, the leaves start to fall. Soon it will be winter. Soon it will be winter. Do you want to turn the page? Yep. After it snows. Whoa, it snowed all of a sudden. Can you make the snow go? Can you make the snow? After it snows, all the mouse toys... Did you want to read the book too? I like snow. This tangerine kitty is very, very soft. I love this tangerine kitty. After it snows, all the mouse toys are gone. No swings, no slide, no trampoline. They didn't even leave a note for us, says the girl. But in time, the children forget about the mice and play their own games. What is the, what is the game that they're playing? A sled. They're going on a sled down the hill. I love going on a sled. I wish it could be winter and we could go on sleds. Would you like to go on a sled? Did you ever go on a sled? No. Oh, the children would take you if you went. I would like that. I know, it would be fast and it would be exciting. Okay, let's turn the page. Beep. One night. The boy is on. His way to bed when he sees She's there with her doll again. But he doesn't say anything at all. And there are the mice. They're dancing underneath the floor. The boy didn't tell on them this time. <laughs> mouse has a fiddle and this mouse has an accordion. Wow, they're having a dance. So, you wouldn't have told, but that's probably because you would have chased the mouse yourself, right? Yeah, I, I wanted see. them to save the mouse for me. Oh dear, well, that's not very safe for the mouse either. But these mice seem to be okay now. Ah! The children won't tell. They're going to be okay all winter. And they don't have a cat in this book, but they do have a cat in this stage. So this mouse is going to have to go. And now this cat is going to go. And now that is the end of our story hour. So I have to go too. So you have to go too, I know. So 
Thank you for coming for Story Hour, and see you next time. Bye! We were reading Mouse House by John Birmingham, and you can get a copy at Book and Puppet Company if you go online. And bye!